Anderson Clean Power Wash Salisbury, Maryland. Um, Want to do another video. This is going to be about our 6x10 trailer. Just had to redo that through a 5.5 gallon a minute pump on uh, one of the machines. So now we've got an 8 and a 5. Uh, can run both of those. This is strictly a downstreaming rig. Um, so I'd say this is going to be more comparable to what the bulk of people are going to be running early on. Um, so I'll show you what we've got here. Um, Alright, so we've got our go bleach tank. Hard plumbed, so the only time these are kind of open is when we're putting more bleach in, so that's going to really reduce a lot of the leaking and everything. Used to have our water hookup down here, but we've rotated the tank around. Sorry, good old tow truck stopping there. Uh, obviously, got our gas tanks and everything there. Got a brush just for those times that we might need it. This is our dump valve. Um, it's been a lot. Um, been a big benefit to have that um, filling buckets washing hands whatever it may be um, see we got this white one inch hose that's the main plumbing that we've used for pretty much everything on here um, redid what we had on this previously the whole thing obviously has seen its share of bleach over the years and needs to get a little bit of uh, some new liner coating on there um, get the pressure pro eight gallon a minute belt drive machine here uh, I got to work on the pump right now. We have a little bit of water in the pump, so I got to deal with that. Um, got our onboard um, fuel tank, so that way we can get that running. And then the starter battery setup for both machines. Uh, the Honda does charge it the um, Predator over here, this five and a half gallon a minute Predator, does not do a good job charging um, I don't know if it's just not capable of it or not but we can fire all these up um, want to just show you how we do the plumbing so um, really I should have a filter over here um, one of my guys did all the plumbing for me though um, we do have the filter right there the bowl filter that then goes down and then tees off that is a smaller three-quarter inch line and one inch flowing the rest of the way around um, so we're going to say I should have a bigger line before the T. Technically, you're right. We've got so much water flow through there, though. Um, it's really just a matter of flooding that pump at this point. Um, obviously, we've got our stacked hose reel kit. Two ladders up top there. We've got a 32 and a 24. Um, that covers 99% of what we need to do along with this A-frame ladder. We've got this tucked in here with a good old tub of dragon juice. And we've got our snot. What we're doing with our mixes, um, let's see, what's that old sign? Um, what we're doing with our mixes, and we're, we're actually um, going straight bleach downstream and from there. Um, right now, he's got it also where he's just taking the um, hose off the barb when we want to flush. That way, it's going to help the injector last longer. And then we've got uh, Mighty M surface cleaner. I mean, th this is my backup rig. Um, that's why it doesn't have a Whisper Wash Classic on it. It will eventually, but. Um, just to, it's a two-tip system um, we also have got the filter coming in so that's our supply line coming straight there one inch um, coming in got one inch Y filter going up and into the tank no um, Hudson flip valve on there at this point we just keep an eye on it so um, and then we've got our orange bypass line we got the black one that's coming right there coming through and bypassing through that one hole and same thing with the orange one. Um, guys, as far as the unloaders and bypass hoses are concerned, um, I know some guys want to try and do really short. Some will be fine with it being real long. Um, it's personal preference. Um, supposedly, the longer runs will give you a little bit longer life on your unloader because it'll actually... Yeah. Say hi. Hi. What are you doing? I'm doing it. Yeah, you gonna play with that? Yeah, don't don't pull that out. It'll hit you in the head. <laughs> um, but yeah, by having the longer unloader, what it does is that it actually all the water that's in here has to then be pushed out. So it, it does give that little bit of added resistance. Um, right now, this is a single man rig. We can certainly we can run two if necessary. We would just split that hose up. Uh, but for right now, this is basically this is going to be the backup unit. And then we have our main unit over there. So have a great day, guys.